What's up guys, Panda Trader here, and today we're going to be talking about uh, Lux Algo version 2.9. So Lux Algo released a new version for its uh, signals. So we're just going to take a take a look at it and see and compare it to the, the old version, see if we can see anything. I'm not going to go into depth with the, the coding or anything like that, I don't really know about that. I'm just going to see what a basic trader would see see if there's any difference if we can make um, any other if our trades become a little bit easier for us so let's take a look so this is gonna be the old version right now we are looking at Bitcoin US this is gonna be the old version so we'll just go to a month so in a month let's see we can just take, uh, let's do some trade. So if you could see here, looks like we predicted a buy here. So far went good and we would sell somewhere in this bar. Hopefully we caught it somewhere up here. So that's good for looks. I'll go buy somewhere in this area. And it actually told us to sell in this area. So probably in the break even or take a loss on this one. Because it would have started in this candle right here, sold in here. So not the best entry. Here, buy somewhere in this candle, sold somewhere in this candle. It's also not the that the trade didn't really work out. So let's take a look at the new version. We can just overlay it. If it gets a little bit confusing, we'll just take it off. So let's actually. So a little bit different here. So the new one, you could see a little bit more. The, it's a little bit like on the green side. They have different color. A little bit more pops out a little bit more. So let's take a look. So here, it wanted to buy here. And it gave us a sell here, which is comparable to what Luxago had before. This, uh, the old version said buy here, sell here for probably a loss. The new version didn't give us a buy here or sell here. It did give us a buy in this candle here. So it gave us a buy in this candle and I don't see a sell so far. So we would be somewhere in this candle. So let's uh, Alt H somewhere, we'd be somewhere in here as a buy. But don't see any. Let's turn it off just to be on the safe side. We're gonna turn off the old version. Yeah, no, still at a buy. So we're pretty much at break even. So we see we probably could see that it might give us a sell signal here to get out of the trade if it crosses this line right here. So pretty interesting. Um, we'll like Salgo. It's a little bit different. We can go to different charts. Let's see the most traded ones that we have. Just so we could take a look. We're gonna go to Apple. If you can see, uh, this is the, the new version, new version of Exalgo. So let's take a quick look. So my hair was a little bit choppy. Let's give us strong, then uh, buy here. Sell here, probably for a loss. Buy here, sell, and this. Let's, take, let's look a little bit, uh, zoom it in a little bit more so we can actually see what's going on. Let's see. So buy here in this area, okay? We bought there, hypothetically. Sold somewhere in here. Hopefully we could have made some profit on this one. Buy here. Hopefully sold somewhere here so we would have took a loss on this one mm, let's see zoom it out and then this one's this is the trades that we want right here buy here write it out nice gap up sell here this is where we make our money on like Sago. trades like these trades like these and then it helps with the motion because imagine it goes here no sell signal and it was able to write it back up so that's those are the trades we want and so far Luxago has it as a sell downward momentum 
So let's look at the old version, compare. Old version, let's see. Okay, pretty identical. Let's take a closer look, buy here. Hold, 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 hold. So here on this candle, which is pretty good. It gave us the opportunity to get out in this candle here. And then the new version wanted it somewhere in this area. And then um, the old version wants here, somewhere in this area. So here, this is probably a losing trade buy somewhere in here sell someone here so here probably a break-even trade this is the old version right here still we're talking about so buy here sell somewhere in this candle so probably not a profitable trade so f so far what I'm seeing is it's a little bit more it's like less uh, signals it gives you more of a confirmation so it's pretty cool these are the trades we want like buy here hold 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 sell there sorry buy here sell there so yeah it's pretty good pretty good so yeah I just want to make uh, see this uh, the difference that we have on there so it's pretty, it's working pretty, pretty good compared to the old version, which I, I mean, I'm a fan of the old and the new version, but this one seems like there's some, uh, gives us a little bit more chance to have those runners up just so we don't have to trade this choppiness here. Gives it more like a sell here. So we don't, we stay away from the stock. So I kind of like that instead of trying to force a trade with the old version, having to buy here, sell here. I mean, you can, but I'm, I want more of the these type of trades right here. So overall, I mean, it's pretty good. So we're gonna take a, be using the 2.9 version from here on out, seeing how um, how those trades work out. So yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure you guys uh, like video, subscribe, comment, anything you guys need, and yeah, we'll see you for the next one. Have a good one. Take care.